Hello, my name is Mo, and this is today's UX Shower Thought. So as you can see from my desktop a little bit, uh, I am on macOS Big Sur on this M1 Mac. I love it. I hate it. Uh, I love the hardware. The software is buggy. When I transferred all my files, what I realized is a lot of my aliases are broken. And to give you a sense of what that what that is and what that means and the extent of it is if I go to like for instance my research and analysis and this is some testing folder like my uh, folders go deep I have lots of um, I have lots of aliases and so what I realized was the way that Apple has historically and currently handles broken aliases is is all messed up so what is an alias an alias is a shortcut to a file uh, so, for instance, this folder is nested, you can see at the bottom, in this deep folder tree. So if I wanted to have a quick um, access to it, this is called a proxy icon, by the way, uh, and it's hidden by default together. So you can click and drag, and then I have hot corners turned on, I go to my desktop, and then if I um, press command or option, I get an alias. So this little uh, arrow makes it um, go means it's an alias and not an actual folder. So when I click on it, it goes to the same place. So you can think of it as like a bookmark, right? Now, as you rename files, as you change files, locations, aliases can break, sometimes they don't. I'm not really sure what breaks them or not, but um, it basically uh, it doesn't happen all the time and I can't really figure out from documentation a consistent pattern. But anyway, so I'm gonna delete this because we don't need it. Now, I know for a fact inside of quantitative research, now new to Big Sur, I can tell that um, this alias that's white as a, as a piece of paper is, is broken, whereas an alias with a folder icon is, is fine. So here's the problem. This is broken. It does give me an indication that it's broken, so that's better in Big Sur. However, watch what happens. So I'm in quantitative research, I'm in this nested folder, and let's say I'm trying to find something inside this folder. <sighs> watch what happens, you ready? Okay, so I double click on it. It says the alias can't be opened because the original item can't be found. I know for a fact the original item is there. For some reason, the link got broken. So I could fix the alias, which I'd have to know where the original document was and go through a convoluted process and I can delete the alias. But if I hit okay, what happens? It totally deletes the, the window. Now, if I didn't have this saved on my desktop as a shortcut or an alias, I couldn't quickly go back to see this. So would I know to go from Macintosh, hard drive users, Shlomo, Dropbox, my files, design, design resources, uh, specific disciplines, blah, 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 blah. It's too many folders, right? So that's like one instance. And I'm not sure what I would call this as a term, except for extremely frustrating. And we're at version 11, Apple fixed that. Now, another thing is that I have an external SSD here uh, in the bottom left. So I click on it. And um, so the window is the SSD. So if I click on the uh, ejection button, it deletes the window. Okay, that's the same as the alias. What I expected, my mental model, was that icon would just disappear and I would stay in the directory that I was in. So I'm calling these user flow, user experience uh, errors and problems out because as someone who uses his MacBook Pro as a daily driver, what am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm using files all day long. The finder is the only app you can't quit. So I'm experimenting with this new app called Pathfinder. And I've made it a bunch of, uh, so it looks like the Finder, but there's all of these um, things that it fixes that from the um, Finder and all these little death by a thousand cuts. Now Pathfinder came out with version 10 recently, and there's a lot, uh, more you can do and if you like want to simplify it so it looks like the finder you can like totally do that um, so all of this is to say Apple these are things people notice I haven't seen many people write about these issues and I think it's interesting that um, they've gone on for decades of being horrible um, so have a great weekend everyone and hopefully uh, my pet peeves will help you win